What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm continuing on my DC movie rewatch with 2022's Black Adam starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And I'm, I'm kind of mixed on this movie, you know? I, I do like the Justice Society, Pierce Brosnan, Dr. Fate. I love uh, Hawkman, The Wind Girl, Adam Smasher, right? I, I don't mind them. The Rock, on the other hand, right, like, he is a superhero when he's just walking around in the day-to-day. -day. When you put him in an actual superhero movie, he's not really a superhero type of guy, you know? Like, he's more like a hitman, assassin type, where they succeed and they never fail and, you know, the movie ends. You know, like, that's what Dwayne likes to do. He likes to show up, kick butt, not lose, and then look like the hero badass guy. Um... I think Black Adam as a character, you know, even if they were going to acknowledge that his powers are similar to Shazam's and then not have Shazam in this movie and then the next DC movie that comes out is Shazam Fury of the Gods comes out a couple months later in the early portions of 2023. Like, come on. What are you doing? Really? You know, like he he very easily could have had instead of the Ju justice society have it just be black adam versus Sazam, have black adam you know be a villain have him lose have him kill somebody he's not supposed to kill you know and, and then have there be some stakes and then have Shazam beat him or lock him up or you know temporarily beat him and then have Black Adam break out of his cell and then have that post credit scene with the Superman instead they had like a, a okay movie and then they threw in this cameo of Superman at the end just for it all to not pay off like what did the rock think was going to happen right like and, and of course they threw that in when it was the previous owners of, of dc and warner brothers and now it's like james gunn's in charge so james gunn came in and was like listen i didn't sign off on this whole bring back superman i'm making a superman movie and it's going to be a younger, completely different Superman. I have nothing against Henry Cavill, but I can't make him my Superman because it's going to be very, very different. And it's going to be a different universe. And I think The Rock before this was like, oh, Warner Brothers is in trouble? I'm going to come in and make some Rock money with them and change the hierarchy of the DCEU. Yeah, you changed it, all right? You you ended it. You can't, <laughs> They came in with you and they were like, yep. We're done. We're going to sell this bitch. I don't know. I th But I think it would have been... Would you think that would have been a better movie? You know, take out the Justice Society and have Black Adam versus Shazam? I think at least for the comic book wise, the fans of like the actual characters themselves before Rock ever was involved, I think would have been like there for that. And they would have had more of like a spectacle of Shazam versus Black Shazam. And then Black Adam meets up with Superman at the end and then that can lead into your next movie is Shazam versus Superman or whatever happens there maybe it's a Justice League movie and that's how it starts and then they convince Black Adam to get into you know a, a more positive light not be a villain or maybe he just leans in it like The Rock could have made a solid ass just villain for the DCEU but thus DCEU ends um there is a couple more movies in my my DC rewatch, there is Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Uh, I'll probably do that one at some point next. And then there's Flash with Ezra Miller, which I... That was, I believe, one of the first DC rewatches, movies, movie reviews that I did on the channel back in 2023. June 16, 2023, so a little bit over a year ago. And then August 18th of 2023, Blue Beetle came out. And I've also reviewed that on the channel. And then Aquaman The Lost Kingdom review already out on the channel. So it looks like I have, I have just Shazam Fury of the Gods to review. And I have completely reviewed every DC movie up until Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. And there hasn't been a DC movie released since. Um, so I guess the next one would be Joker Folia Adu. And then Superman after that. But either way, I I've had a good time going back and watching all these DC movies and I really like a good majority of them there is quite a few duds in there though uh more so than Marvel I think 
Marvel has like the first 22 some odd movies I think are all pretty damn good and then yeah phase four has been controversial for Marvel but most people are just being haters for the sake of hating some people have actual critiques but those don't apply to me because I've really enjoyed what we've gotten so far and I'm a very patient man so for me you know if we if people are mad that there's not interconnect activity and everything doesn't seem seamless at this moment in time i'm like don't worry about it we got secret wars we got avengers doomsday coming up it will all pay off eventually they'll figure it out they'll connect the dots as far as deadpool wolverine i'm still loving that loved it the two times i've seen it so far can't wait to see it again very very solid movie but overall for black adam I gave this movie 3 out of 5 stars, about a 6 out of 10. I don't love it, and it's probably, you know, if I had to give it a true 10 score, it's probably still about a 6 out of 10. I, I don't love it. Uh, I don't love The Rock as a superhero. Um, you know, I like him more as like a WWE guy. But even since, like, you know, he, he did WrestleMania, last uh, the last WrestleMania, and it was back-to-back -back nights, and this guy wasn't quite looking like The Rock we remembered, you know? Um... <laughs> But comment below what were your thoughts on Black Adam. Uh, I do think it was at least dope that like he like electrocuted some guys to death. He, g he gave some darkness to the DCEU. But if you were going to go lean into that side of things and make him like dark and brutal and murdering people and shit, maybe make it rated R. Maybe give us some blood. Maybe, you know, make it realistic. Instead, it's kind of like this PG-13, like some badass shit's happening, some's not. Like the third act villain, I'm not really into that at all. You know, it is what it is. Um, I hope we never get to see Black Adam again and James Gunn's DC really just takes over and heads us in a new direction. There's literally only like one character and that's like Blue Beetle that I want to see re return uh, to James Gunn's DC, e James Gunn's DCU I guess, DC Universe. Um, it's no longer the extended universe, it's just going to be the DCU I believe, which is awesome. <laughs> But comment below your thoughts, and I will see you beautiful people in the next video.